What's up, guys? It's Ray and Jeff from AchievementHunter.com, and Jeff finally got it. Tower of Babel. I'm Easter excited. is done. Let's lay down some quick, quick tips so okay. I don't have to bring them up again. Must be done with four people. No perks can be used. Must be done on original difficulty. This is Dr. Maxis's path because there are two. We're doing the easier one. Yeah. And everyone must have a turbine. So let's get started. Just okay. like all the other ones, you got to turn the power on, but this time... You also have to turn it off. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, what's up? Is this your favorite thing in the world to do? It's, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty strikes. convinced this is why I got my job, because nobody else can probably do this, and I'm willing Not to put office. three hours into my night just to get this. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. So the reason you're turning the power on is to uh, summon an electrical zombie that you'll need later on, and the reason you're turning it back off is to progress with the Easter egg, because Dr. Maxis will only talk to you if the power is off. Okay. So now, it's that, now that that is done, you need to get an EMP grenade, which... Hit the random box over and over and over again, and <laughs> Jesus, if you're lucky, dude. you'll get this little blue piece of shit that you need to progress. Three thousand dollars. How many zombies do you have to kill to get thirty? Well, you can. Uh, there's a cool feature in this mode where there's a bank, and oh, right. from previous games you could put money in. So thankfully, one of my friends here had like a whole bunch of money stored up. So when you hit the box, you can do it like ten or fifteen times. Anyway, now you want to head to the pylon. This is in the cornfield. You have to walk off the bus. This is between the. Uh, the farm and the power plant. Mm -hmm. So walk through the corn maze until you get to this uh, pylon or obelisk or phone tower looking thing right here. This is where you want I to kind of congregate. That yeah, that little uh, that imp thing. Those yeah. are really annoying. So now you want to power the pylon, hence why you need the turbine. So you put to that table you don't need. That's for the other Easter egg. We thought it was uh, required, but turns out uh, you don't need it at all. Okay. So if you don't have it there, it's just going to be an empty spot. You can just put the pylons in the same area. When you put it on, Dr. Max is going to be... Uh, doing his whole little talky thing. I keep looking in the air, waiting for uh, uh, thunder or lightning, whatever. You can kind of see in the corner of the screen there. That's yeah. how you know like he's talking and you did it correctly. So do that. He's going to do his whole talky bit. After he's done talking, pick that up, and then the uh, fun part of the Easter egg. You have to lead an electrical zombie under the pylon and kill him. And the only way to kill him is with an, an EMP grenade. So he's going to spawn all the way over there. And this asshole likes to uh, shoot at you without moving up. And since you have no perks, if you take like one or two hits, you're going to go down. So I'm going to speed it up here a little bit. Things are going to get a little bit hectic, but we get very, very fortunate. So, uh, you know, just killing some zombies here. No big deal. Still not moving. Still back there being an asshole. Totally does, trolling us. Does he always spawn right after this, at this part? Uh, no, it's actually random when he spawns. Sometimes it'll be like two waves, three waves. People say it's like... Oh, it depends, like, on the sky, or this, or that, and the other thing. We just kept playing, and he came, like, after three or so waves. Good lord, dude. So we are going down. People are being revived left and right. I get an achievement for killing him without getting damaged, but I did get damaged. So that's weird. I'll probably do a separate gun on that. Okay. Uh, but he died there under the um, under the pylon. You kind of couldn't see because of all the chaos. Yeah. Uh, somebody threw an EMP grenade, and the two turbines we put down got destroyed. He got destroyed. Dr. Maxis will say, oh, he did a good job, this and that. So after that is done, now the two people who put turbines down need to go grab more because they got destroyed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're actually almost done. It's actually a really short Easter egg. So now you need to put uh, turbines in four spots. One is at this bus stop light. Another one is over here in the diner by this uh, by this light. Ignore the fact that that thing is orange. This was done after the Easter egg was done. So this is okay. kind of like post. So bus stop, that diner, and then you keep two people over here at the pylon, and that's where the other two go. It's also helps if you keep a zombie alive throughout this whole time. As you can see, it's wave 10 here. But Ray, you should never split up in a zombie attack. Yeah, well, for this Easter egg, you have to, Jeff. So... Keep that one zombie alive, and then you kill the zombie, and then all you gotta do is drop your turbines at the same time. So, the bus stop, the diner, and under the pylon, and there you go! 75 gamer score for Tower of Babel. Usually, this is kind of a short easter egg, all things considered, it's just a lot of luck with the EMP grenade. Yeah. And hopefully the electrical zombie doesn't fuck your mouth halfway through. And then you're done. There you go. 75 gamer score, Jeff. Congratulations, Ray. Thanks, man.